like chicken, cause we're not vegan. Hope you like chicken too. Wing! Welcome to episode quattro of the Spitzer 7 Day Chicken Wing Challenge. Today, we went to Crossroads. No, Crossroads came to us. Oh, okay. Yeah, I brought it home. And you know what? By the way, I had a- Let's go! Do you guys think that the quality was tainted by me delivering it home instead of eating it at the restaurant? Well, who said that they- A couple of people on Facebook said that. Well, they're wrong. No, I actually oh. think so because, to be honest, the quality was not that good in my opinion. But do you think it was because we brought it home instead of eating it there? I have no idea considering I haven't eaten it there. Well, what was the qual- what about the quality was so bad? Well, it tasted dry. No, that could have been a problem delivering it. Okay, anything else? Uh, there was a lack of sauce for my- Well, for me. I saw them when I picked them up and they looked just like that. There was no sauce on them. It was like soaked into it or something. There was nothing dripping it off of it. had to be. Right? But that was for the boneless. So the- what did you think about the sauce on the traditional wings? It didn't look like there was a lot of sauce in it, on it, but my taste buds felt like they were the same as any other good place. They taste, it tasted fine, because it was that sauce. What was that sauce called again? Greg's Honey Barbecue Honey Mustard. So it was like Honey Barbecue and Honey Mustard What mixed? kind of name is that? Just... Did you think it tasted like Honey Barbecue and Honey Mustard at the same time? I don't know. I it... thought... What did you think it tasted like? Which one? Honey mustard or barbecue? I don't barbecue? know. I don't focus on like, okay, what does it taste like? Uh, honey barbecue or honey mustard? They're basically the same exact thing, but which one does it taste like? We'll put up on the screen right now that there were some wings that just didn't have hardly any sauce on them. It's like they kind of drizzled it over it, but didn't cover the whole entire wing. And there were some of them that had more on it than others, but some didn't hardly have any sauce on it at all. I was very disappointed in that. Mm -hmm. You know, for me, I got the garlic uh, sauce. Uh, it did taste like garlic, uh, perhaps too garlicky, to the to the point where I ate like three of them. I'm like, this is too much garlic. Really? Yes. So I'd say stay away from the garlic. But didn't you say there was no sauce on it at all? There was no sauce, but it tasted garlicky. It was mm -hmm. weird. It was soaked in. It must have been soaked in. I guess so. Yeah. Just to mention this. We got the option, or I guess you can call it an option, to make it all drumsticks. Yeah, that was awesome. And not only could you get all drumsticks, you could get all flats. I don't even know why, what, but I guess that's the other kind of chicken wing. I guess they're called flats. But that, you could get, if that's what you want, you could get those. But we got all drumsticks. I had the big old bowl of ranch so I could dip that sucker in there, no problem. I Are thought you, you said in the last episode that was going to be the last time you mentioned it. Well, except for this mo moment where I showed something super awesome. Ethan, what did you think about the size of the wings? The size was good. Really? I thought they were kind of small compared mm -hmm. to Bannermans and what did we eat yesterday? Bulldogs? Uh, mine, my yeah. size was like as the same size as all of them. All of them. They're all basically the same all size. All about the same, yeah. yeah. I feel like it's just kind of bashing it. I thought it was good. I thought it was good. I thought it was good. Like, really? Yeah, I, know. I thought they were like tough wings, but that could have been the reason why when I drove drove them home, they got a little bit harder. Right? Do you like them that much? Yeah, they were good. I'd have them again. Are you feeling sick? This morning I was. So PJ gave the boneless wings a rating of okie dokie. And Jeff, or Dad as we call him, <laughs> uh, said that he rated the uh, traditional wings okie dokie, but I rated them godlike because, you know, they're godlike. No, they're not. This year. So the traditional wings get a rating of about a Chicago Bears 2018 regular season. Tomorrow we are going to Heroes and Juliet. They claim it's super awesome. We'll find that out tomorrow and see you tomorrow. Ethan, it's Juliet, not Juliet. <laughs>